My name is Zachary D. Powell. I'm an owner and basically one of the actual founders. And what I do is I basically do a little bit of everything from actually running and managing a business to you know, doing the video productions, writing, script writing, to shooting, editing. Every day is different. That's one thing I like about working here at Fade to Black. I was actually born in Pennsylvania and uh, I moved down when I was really young. I was two years old. So I'm pretty close to a native. And we moved down because my dad worked for IBM and basically Boca Raton was uh, basically an IBM town. I mean, everyone worked for IBM. The first time I actually picked up a video camera, it was kind of funny because uh, my brother's friend, he was going to do a video project for school and it basically turned into him and my, bro uh, my brother goofing around and then I wanted to join in and I just loved it. I thought it was the funnest thing in the world just to make little skits and videos and stuff like that. Never looked back since. So then later on, my dad uh, got a video camera for Christmas and, uh, you know, to videotape the family. I just took that thing up and thought it was my own camera. I just carried it around with me, had this carrying case, and I remember I just didn't put it down. It was my personal little camera case that had my camera in it, even though it was my dad's, and he never got it back. Still have that camera today, actually. Well, there's many projects that you do, when you're, especially when you're young. You don't really want people to see. One that um, was this one skit where in uh, college, actually, where me and my friend Brady went around, played golf on the college campus, and we filmed it and, and uh, put it up online later. But uh, it's kind of funny, and uh, it was kind of, uh, it's called Under Par, and it's just a little funny production. And that's what we did back in college. Um, that's one of those productions, uh, you know, you just don't live down. One of the more newer projects that um, I'm kind of proud of, personally proud of, is uh, basically a organization that uh, that's called We Rock the Spectrum that does uh, gyms for um, kids that are on the spectrum. It's a place so that, that these kids can go be safe or be themselves, be who they are, and without worrying about everything. It's, it's a place for them that they can actually have and play. And we did a video series for them, but it's really nice just to hear that, that you know, that I see them, you know, um, every couple of days and hear them say how happy they are that they, everyone loves the videos and, and now they want to do more videos and such. And uh, it's just really nice to know that um, they're doing something for the community and that you can help them do it for the community. I don't know. It's kind of nice. One of my favorite projects to work on, uh, <laughs> which is funny because we're still working on it, uh, Project 300s. Um, it's our first move one, it's still in the works. I know everyone's kind of like, uh, it's been a couple years, but you know, it's one of those passion projects where you know, we have to do when we, ha when we have downtime and honestly running your business and, and having a family, you don't get much downtime. That project is kind of actually one of my projects that I'm, I was really happy to work on because I uh, uh, just love movie making in general. So we had a uh, film um, actually play at a film festival, and and it's it's really funny because like you're sitting in a movie theater, and and because it was for a local radio station, you know the whole movie theater is packed, and all these people are there watching your movie back, and um, it was a little overwhelming, and I didn't know how to feel, you know, it was kind of like uh, I didn't quite get it, you know, like oh people here are watching my film, it's afterwards you're just like, whoa. You know, a whole room of people came out and watched our movie and it aired and people laughed and thought it was, you know, and thought it was good. It, it, you know, afterwards you're, you can soak it in and be like, whoa. But during the time, it's kind of that nervous scare where you're kind of just can't take it all in. So my ultimate dream would be be able to do my own, my own movies, our own production, what me and Dan want to work on. I know that's kind of you know hard saying. Hey, I would like to be able to do my uh, my own movies without have to answer to somebody. But you know, I know that's everyone's dream. But that's kind of you know always been you know storytelling, the stories that I want to tell, and uh, you know then make the movies and and create it the way that I want to create it. It's it's very hard to, to get there. So a little more work ahead of us. I, I guess honestly. Um, the biggest advice that um, if I had to go back in and, and talk to my, you know, tell myself is um, just because your work is great and just because you have good, you know, 
good relationship. It's not one of those things that you make the better mousetrap, everyone comes down knocking on your door. That's not true. If no one hears of you, they don't come down knocking on your door. You have to go out there and get them. You have to go out there and grab the clients and show them what your work is. So I guess honestly, the, be the best advice I would give myself is that, you know, is yeah, you have to produce good work, good, good things, but you have to go out and market yourself and actually get those new clients to come in. You know, focus on that is just as hard as you focus on creating, you know, each each project being great. Of course, it should be. What's your favorite movie besides Star Wars? Uh, believe it or not, which which is kind of funny is if I had to put a movie in one of my my favorite movies, which is it, I know this is kind of. Uh, a funny thing uh, is actually uh, the movie Predator, and uh, it was one of the movies that that I actually started breaking down, and actually started breaking down shot by shot, and kind of got me to really think about exactly how did they do that movie at that point. So I kind of have a fondness of that. Well, one thing I wish clients would understand more more um, is about exactly how much actual work kind of goes into to, to make something look like there's went easy and no work. You know, it, it took a long time to get all the skills so that we can sit down and produce a great looking video. And so it's more than just learning, you know, how to, to, how to shoot and create a good image. I mean, you know, you have to study exactly how YouTube works and how people uh, respond to certain videos and and there's so much research. I mean, we just, we always keep reading every day. I mean, there's probably, you know, an hour to two hours a day minimum every day, you know, I will research. And it keeps changing and keeps growing and keeps going. I mean, every day there's something new to come out. So when we sit down and we're like, this would be, you know, when we give advice, you know, we'll do whatever they want to do, but, you know, we're giving the advice because this has worked before in the past. This has worked. You know, this is because of other experiences. We're not just telling you just because, you know, we like the color green, we're telling you what will have the best impact. Probably drink something, because I'm getting thirsty. So, <laughs> I don't know, maybe some coffee. After having kids, I drink a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee.